Anthony, what's your assessment of your season so far? Great run to the semis of the Scottish, couple of quarter-finals. It's there or thereabouts, your game, isn't it? But perhaps not sparkling yet this season. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not playing the best nick in the world, but uh, there's been other times in my career where I've been worse than I am now. So, um, so yeah, no, nah, just, just quite enjoying playing right now, uh, Rob, regardless of the way the results go, but it could have been a lot worse. And this is a venue where so often we see you rise to the occasion. For instance, the match against Ronnie last year was absolutely incredible. He was ahead, you were ahead, went to a decider and you beat him. You love playing in Sheffield, don't you, on the big stage? Oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. It's, bit, well, it's brilliant when you're involved in a match. I mean, I've had a couple of doings here as well and it's not much fun. But uh, yeah, when you're involved and, and, and there's, there's a crowd there, which is going to be a full capacity this year, so I'm really looking forward to that. So. Yes, yeah, there's, there's no place quite like it. And your temperament is well suited to this stage as well, because you are someone who seems to be able to stay calm under pressure. Yeah, well, sometimes, I mean, it may look like that on the outside, but, uh, but yeah, no, nah, I'm just excited to be here, Rob, uh, to not have to go through the qualifying last week and just actually just guaranteed to be here. I'm just, I'm so grateful, tell, I'm telling you, can't, can't believe it. And bearing in mind you, you were keeping a close eye on Judgment Day, what's your assessment of, of Liam Highfield's form? You haven't played each other for, for six years. He's in his third Crucible. He's also quite a calm, composed character. Oh, I, no, Liam's, well, I mean, just pure ability on the table. He's, he's up there with, with anyone. He's a brilliant, brilliant player. Known him for a hell of a long time. Grew up in the juniors together. Um, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And it was a great judgment day for the Scots because your good friend Stephen Maguire came through a really tricky match and Scott Donaldson made it through as well. So uh, excellent representation from the Scots in this year's uh, Betfred World Championship. Yeah, four, four of us. So, um, yeah, I don't know what quarters we're in, but from different quarters and everybody better watch out because we are going for the semis. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> well, great to see you smiling, Anthony. Right. You've, com you've produced some incredible snooker here over the years. Let's hope you do so again in 2022. Hope so too. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.